Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change out the heat break on your Artillery 3D Sidewinder X1. Okay, so before we get started doing anything on the machine, to get better access to the hot end assembly for disassembly, we're gonna to need to take off the blower fan here that cools the prints and we're gonna to have to take off the side cover here that gets in the way. So first things first, we're gonna to need to disconnect the ribbon cable, unscrew that, unscrew that, and then I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, now that we have those covers off, it is time for us to unplug the thermistor wire and the heater wire very, 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 and I can't stress this enough, very carefully. The thermistor wires especially are extremely fragile, so take your time doing this. Sorry if it's, pretty much impossible to see, but just because of the way the board is designed, I can't really show you guys. Okay, we got those disconnected as you can see. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the crescent wrench here on the heater block. We're going to brace the assembly with our hand and we're gonna extremely carefully twist it to the left. If it doesn't wanna go easily, take a heat gun, take a hair dryer, and warm it up. We're just going to very carefully unscrew this, being very mindful of the wires, like I've said. I'm going to keep stressing that because I've seen a lot of people break things lately on the forum and it's kind of frustrating. And there we have it. There is the stock Artillery 3D uh, heat break right there with the PTFE tube there, the nozzle, and the heater block. So now that we have this out, I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, sorry if the focus on this is a little bit iffy, but now that we have the assembly out, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a heat gun here, and I am just going to warm up the block enough that I can safely loosen up the nozzle, and that should free up the heat break, so we can unscrew it. All right, so I managed to get the nozzle out, but sadly, due to an oozing problem I had, you can probably see all of PLA on the outside of the nozzle there, the heat break is stuck as well, and this can happen, so don't, don't panic if it does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm it up a little bit more with the heat gun, and then, as much as I don't want to, we're gonna take a pair of pliers here, and we're gonna very gently crimp it on the top, and we're going to twist it out. But the big thing is we need to heat it up more so that way we can hopefully loosen up the stuck filament and go from there. So right off the bat, you guys should be able to notice that this guy right here has no Teflon liner, and this guy does. That's because this guy on the left is from TH3D, they were gracious enough to send it to me for free, a titanium heat break, and this guy on the right is the stock artillery one. Now the difference is by not having the Teflon or PTFE tube touching the top of the nozzle, it means that you can run at a higher temperature without worrying about degrading anything. Also. A couple of people have noted that when they've switched out nozzles with the stock artillery one, they've had issues with it not sealing properly, and that's because of the way um, the Teflon may or may not be touching the top of their nozzle. So with all that said, let's work on carefully installing this guy into the block. Now what I've also done is I've come along and I have removed any excess plastic that was in there from the previous uh, incident. So that guy miraculously just twists right in there. 
Um, I'm just going to clean off the PLA on the nozzle here really fast so we can insert it and then make sure that the two mating surfaces are touching properly. Now when it comes to installing this, you will notice that the top of the threads on the heat brake and the top of the heater block are touching. That is important and don't worry about it wiggling in there, that's just part of it locating. Okay, so I've gotten most of the PLA off of here. It should be fine. So I'm just going to carefully twist this guy into the heater block. Hopefully that will break off some of the excess. Okay, so I've installed the nozzle and I've just snugged it against the heat brake. Obviously nothing has been tightened fully yet and obviously there's a reason why. So the next step will be recycling what we can of this original PTFE tube sticking that into the top of here and installing it back in the printer. All right, so I've just finger snugged that in there. That looks to be the right spot. So now I'm gonna carefully take and plug in my temperature wire. All right, we got those installed. I'm just going to plug in the ribbon cable. Okay, guys, we're all done with this in terms of the mechanical stuff. You still need to put the blower fan on right here. You still need to put the side cover on and double check that you don't have any leaks forming, but you're all done. I would recommend, though, that you get the same style of um, temperature sensor and maybe a spare heater cartridge as well if you're going to do this on the machine because it is possible to break those and that's just it kind of sucks what some people will, will prefer to do if their budget allows is they will just buy the heater block the temperature sensor and the heater cartridge and they will literally just pull those in and out as a one-piece assembly when they're changing out their heat break so I hope you guys found this useful. As with anything on this machine, take your time doing it. There's no need to rush. If you rush it, you run the risk of breaking something and making things 10 times worse. So with that said, hope this helps. See you guys later.